I'm Jay Weld, Director of Career and Technical Education for the Davis School District. The role of career and technical education is to provide opportunities for students to advance their education, whether that is a certificate, an associate degree, bachelor's degree, or a graduate degree. About four or five years ago, industry came to Governor Herbert's office understanding that there was a real need for skilled workers in our state. So Governor Herbert had his Office of Economic Development come to the secondary education system and aerospace was the first industry to come and we were asked to be part of the aerospace pathway. So with the success of the aerospace pathway, other industries followed. The health industry then came on board and they did job shadows. The next pathway to follow was the information technology pathway. It deals with computer science, digital media, gaming, cybersecurity. Parents are recognizing that back then, they came out of high school and had to pay for their college if they didn't have a scholarship. Now, they're seeing that students can come out, be hired right out of high school by these companies, and then they have a tuition reimbursement, and they're working while they're going to school and a lot of parents are saying, I wish they would have had this when I was in school. I'm enrolled in the Utah Aerospace Pathway and I am excited to learn more about composites and engineering, which I am both enrolled in. We're able to be very creative in the different things that, we're, that we can make, so basically the sky is the limit in this class. The most rewarding part for me in being involved in this program is to see the students light up when they really uh, get great at building things, their creativity is strengthened. Companies like Keomac, Hexel, Northrop Grumman, Boeing, and Janicki are the biggest contributors right now to the pathway. When I started high school, I did not want to go into aerospace at all, and my senior year of high school, my Instructor at the time, Mr. Tim Feltner, actually convinced me to take his aerospace class. Because I did that, I heard about the Utah Aerospace Pathway Program, and I decided that I wanted to try it. So my high school actually went on a tour. We came here, and I got to see all the different parts working together to get these parts out there. So the UAP program really helped me go from just wanting a job in life to wanting an actual career with this, and I I'm so happy that I did that. Hi, my name is Jake Willis. I am the Project Portfolio Manager and the Medical Innovations Pathways host for Nelson Laboratories. One of the main things that Nelson Laboratories does is make sure that medical devices are safe. Safe for hospitals, safe for the general consumers, the general public. You get to come into the actual facility, you get to see what they do, what kind of instruments, tools, microscopes, sterilization processes that they do, and you just get a feel for their work environment. You get to work with a lot of different people in the different labs. We got to go into a lab um, where we were able to do some gram staining and look at different kinds of microorganisms. And then we also got to uh, learn how they keep their environment sterile with how they glove up and suit on for all their activities and stuff. And it was just a ton of fun and I'm really glad that I took part in it. Today um, at my job shadow we are doing some tests on blood, semen, and saliva, and we used phenothaline on our blood test to presume if it was positive or negative. I've been job shadowing this past week and I've learned so much from them, what I do when I just sit into the classroom. I have been able to get hands-on experience, I've been able to have my questions answered right away, and I've been able to see how careful we have to be, and it's just helped a lot because it's more personal and I'm able to gain a better knowledge. So the IT pathway is a great pathway because every single organization needs a computer scientist, right? So students can complete an externship with the Davis School District and they'll go out to places like America First Credit Union, Sarcos Robotics, even Bonneville Communications. So in computer principles we learn how to code different programs and we learn how to pixelate different things using binary. Uh, we pixelate it by doing like stanzas of like ones and zeros, and we're learning how to
pixelate pictures and color those. We look forward to the continued relationship with the governor's office and with those organizations we work with and being able to advance the education and career opportunities of our students and do those things which will enrich their lives and provide the opportunities that they seek after.